What's up everybody? I'm Stephen James. Welcome back to the channel where we are the squad and you are the studs. Guys, I got kind of this concerning message, uh, you know, in my I Instagram account and I wanted to address it. So let's take a moment and let's listen to the message. This is from one of the squad members, a subscriber from the YouTube channel. And let's see what he has to say. Hey Steve, uh, I have a question for you. People are not respecting me at work lately and I wanted to know how they can respect me. All right, so basically the question is how can I make people respect me, right? And I think that is an important topic that I think I've touched on before, but I think it's it's good to recap on it. Well, first is first. You have to learn how to draw the line in the sand. You can't just go on and about your day allowing this to happen to you, all right? We're not going to allow this to happen, and the way you do that is by drawing the line, setting your boundaries. But I, what I think is most important about this first point is not drawing the boundary itself, not setting those for yourself, but the timing of it. Because if you just go around telling people to respect you and setting boundaries in a, let's say it's the work environment, you talk about work, if you do this without any base or nobody's really, you know, itching out a fight, I think it's unnecessary to have to walk up to somebody and tell them, hey, here are my boundaries, don't cross them. I would suggest you might wait till the next opportunity where the person tries to disrespect you, humiliate you, or whatever it is they're trying to make you do. And I would suggest you take that moment and really stop them right in their tracks. You have to be affirmative about this. Which brings me to point number two. Point number one is draw the line, be affirmative about it. Number two is standing up for yourself. You need to take action about this. You cannot allow this to keep happening to you because what's happening is this person perceives you as weak, if you want to say it, all right? Somebody not worth their time respecting, and that is something that every human being, that is a basic right, okay? Everyone deserves to be respected, and you need to stand up for yourself. This doesn't necessarily mean make it into a violent art altercation. Uh, I'm not telling you to swing jabs and crosses. What I'm telling you is take action about it. If you have a human resources at your workplace that you can reach out to, maybe that could be one of the things that you could do, right? I get what I'm about to say is gonna sound kind of corny, but don't be afraid to verbalize, hey, I need you to stop with that. That is really offensive. That is bothering me. You've done it a few times. That is something that needs to stop right now. If you don't respect me, I'm going to have to take this to the, either the supervisor or whoever's your boss and you're going to have to sort it out a little bit more formally with your workspace. I would say my point number three is be professional about it, be mature. If this other person is just picking at you and they're bullying you in the workspace, then you would most likely do better by not responding to their dumb remarks, right? Because words really... Uh, I get it, they hurt, but they're not going to physically hurt you and I think that you should be the better person and learn to walk away when you have to. But when it's getting out of hand, you need to stop this person in their tracks. So just to kind of top it all off, uh, remember, keep it professional, okay? Reach out to supervisors or somebody that can help because this is laboral harassment. Okay, you're in the workspace, this person is harassing you, that hinders your performance and your managers will not want that to happen. So if they're wise, they're gonna take it you know, seriously and they're gonna help you out in that. But this does not just apply to the workspace. This also applies to toxic family members, toxic friends, Pretty much everywhere you go, when you confront a person, it makes them feel uncomfortable. Uh, I don't know where, I think it might have been probably uh, uh, this TikToker I follow, I don't remember their name, but there's like this psychological hack where if somebody offends you or makes you feel bad, you stop for a second, stare, and literally go, are you okay? And that kind of, it's supposed to make the person feel uncomfortable and kind of reflect on what they just said. Maybe that could be something useful for you. I don't know. Try it out for yourself. Let me know how it goes down in the comments. I hope this helped you, my friend, and stay stylish, all right? To all of those who are new to the channel, 
hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single upload. And thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and stay stylish.